Ah, <sighs> told you so, guys. I told you so. I've been telling you all year, folks. Welcome to the channel. And what is it I told you? Well, a number of things. I told you you wouldn't have your home in space. I told you hangers would not be working for you by what January was it? <laughs> Sweet. No, and I told you that it would not work once you had it as they had advertised it. You cannot even place a damn couch in these things. They're completely pointless. In fact, they're so bad, it would be even better not to have them at all. It is just slower than what we had before this nonsense. I told you that people are dropping the project. I told you that people have stopped playing. I've stopped playing a lot. I'm trying to get back into it, but it's so damn painful. I'm in a good humor right now because I've been playing No Man's Sky all day. It's actually fantastic. Uh, I have a video uploaded. If it's not already there, check later today. But um, the fishing expedition, what is it that they do? Do they just give you a 50 US dollar <laughs> fishing pole? that you absolutely need to play? No, 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 no. It is No Man's Sky. You do this shit for free. You already bought the game. So you, I have a, no, you don't have just a fishing pole. You have a fishing pole. You can upgrade it. You can have different baits. You can use the fish that you fish as baits. You have legendary fish. You have classes of fish. You have sizes. You have um, bottles with messages, with codes to use on a portal to go to some far distant planet to find a rare fish. You have um, the expedition mission, which involves fishing in a number of places, in a number of weathers. Is it all pointless? No, because you get rewards. You get permanent rewards, you get rare shit, you get unique posters that only people that have actually have gone fishing get to place in their home bases, yes, home bases, how many? All of them, every one you want, you can make damn castles, you can make mansions, you can make them underwater, you can make them in the sky, You can. it never ends, it is never ending, if you haven't played No Man's Sky, go watch my video, and this is the complete opposite, this is... This is a scam. This is Chris Roberts becoming desperate for money and just jumping on a bus and robbing people at gunpoint. This is ridiculous at this, at this point. And people have finally noticed. I told you, you cannot have this thing go on like this for much longer. It used to be that it was fun. It used to be that we would enjoy combat. I enjoyed combat. I used to make very positive videos. It was not, the, the channel was not, uh, it didn't have a thousand subscribers. It was a, a more, mo and you know, I would like to talk, but this is what's going on right now. This is the topic right now. I have to talk about this because I'm thinking about this and I'm seeing it unfold. I'm seeing this dumpster fire burning and we have to talk about it. And the latest of this disaster is the Atlas exosuit that is not really an exosuit because they cannot be bothered to do proper physics and a claw that would actually hold on to stuff. No, it is a suit with a bullshit light or beam of whatever nonsense it is and moves magically, even though you already had the multi-tool and you already had the big rifle tractor beam thing that used to move, that thing used to move entire fucking ships around. Now it cannot even move a box. Why? Well, because it had to be nerfed. Why? It makes no sense. Why, why is this even a thing? I mean, if you have like a, a thing for moving, okay, you have a thing for moving box. All right, okay, let's, let's go with that. You, you, you are so fucking lazy that you went with, okay, but you've added two more and then you nerf them so as to force people to buy an Atlas robot for 35, 40, 45 dollars because if not, you cannot move a fucking box. You have to only move the, the tiny boxes because you didn't buy the latest thing. You need to buy... Imagine if No Man's Sky was like, you need to buy this new ship. Oh, you want to go to that other planet? Well, you now need the, the blue quantum thing that allows you to go to the blue planets. Yeah, we, we sell that for 50 bucks. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole new world. We have to find us a game, right? No, no, no. You don't, you don't do that shit. People already bought the game, you make it awesome, and people keep on buying it more. And whenever you come with a new project, like Hello Games is doing right now, the moment I see that shit on pre-sale, I'm not even looking at it, I'm tapping on it. Because, first of all, I they've earned my trust, 
I want to help them. I want to finance them. I want that motherfucker to buy five mansions, not one. I want him to do very well. And I would be super glad if that's the case. I don't need a mansion or 10 or a yacht. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm super blessed and happy with the way life is. I like having these things go down that way. I like having these guys dream of making something awesome and actually pulling it and doing it. And even with a, with, with a complicated start, like it was in the case of No Man's Sky, faith, believing in yourself, believing in your, in your player base, in your backers, believing in people that are giving you that vote of confidence actually fucking pays through. It, it just... It, it just Eventually, you get it right, and then you keep on you keep on b- betting on you doing things right, and that's how you end up with that game. It's gonna be even better in a in a couple months. It's gonna be even better next year. This this is falling apart, man. CIG needs to make contracts for Atlas. CIG needs to make contracts for Atlas, considering how much uh, time real people have to play games. My time will be limited to fast cargo runs. You're, we are just dropping. It's what fifty percent drop, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have a link for an accurate description of the player base right now. It has gone through the floor this last year, these last couple months. It is a nightmare. No one is playing this thing. Even when you want to play, it is terrible. Now they're nerfing ships so as to sell you new ships. The joke of the four hundred I that was sold a couple years ago. For $250, it was bad already when they were selling it. It was just pretty. Now it's it's completely worthless. <laughs> it, is, it is insanity. The cargo trolley. No, 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 you can't have those things. No, no. No, you have to go and spend 45 bucks if you want to keep on playing. Uh, it's a new cargo gameplay. Yeah, but you need to buy the at- biggest hardly discussed issue with the Atlas. Star Kitten Livery win. Yeah, and people joke about it, but you know what you're not going to be joking about when when they declare bankruptcy? I'm actually worried. I'm not hoping for it. I'm worried about it because I have a couple of ships in this thing. I wouldn't like to lose all of that. I mean, it's not as if I'm using it for anything right now, but given what's going on here, given the way they treat the backers, what Chris Roberts is doing, even in, in, in this... Even in the forums, in in Spectrum, you have that asshole, that sad sack of shit, <laughs> Knight Rider, old fucker, that guy banning people for no reason, just, I mean, that frustrated piece of garbage, just taking it out on, on, on people that are paying his fucking salary, for Christ's sake, and no one puts a stop on that to that. It is insane. What's going on with this company is insane. It is very interesting to see that, I mean, it, it's still afloat, but man, this this is already done. I don't see how it survives, honestly. I mean, I want nothing more than next year see this company still operating, not see them go bankrupt. I would love to see Chris Roberts and CIG still in business next year. I don't see how that happens, doing these sort of things, doing this crap. They're obviously desperate for... Kamura had a video... They're desperate for money. Another thing that I've been telling you, guys, they are suffering. There's no logic to any of this. You cannot just fuck up your own game simply to sell something for 45 bucks so as to have people continue to play because if not, they cannot play anymore. You spend years talking about the new cargo and and then when it's horrible, you still have the nerve to nerf the tool to move the cargo around because you cannot even you 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 do this just to sell another pile of some other garbage it is crazy atlas does atlas does it have a quantum people are just joking 40 dollars deserves a quantum drive and what about the mule what about the fucking mule people bother you need the mule for moving boxes or it's just one for the tiny box you so you have a hand tool you have a long tool. <laughs> you have a, a giant ass tool that used to be able to move fucking ships. Now it's been nerfed. So they sell you that. They sell you this thing. Now they, they sold you the mule. And what about the mule? What about my mule, right? You, you, you bought it. I see mule is 45 bucks and standalone ship but does not have a way to move. It is. So you have the mule. Completely useless. 
something that is completely useless and people pay money. Oh, you don't. It's, you're just you're just giving money because you believe in the project. It has nothing. No, you're buying an asset in a game. There is a logic to it. That's why. When you buy a Karak, when you buy an 890 Jump, it's not a matter of, it doesn't matter the price, I, I just donate whatever I want when I get the, no, no, it is a thousand bucks, if you want the fancy ash thing, it's gonna be, a, it's not about donating shit, no, you're buying shit, stop it with that, stop it with this nonsense, you're buying things, you're buying pretty little things in a game, and none of that exists, but okay, you know, it's a, it's, it's a digital, Economically speaking, letter of the law, it's a digital asset. Doesn't exist in the real world, exists in the world created by the company. As long as the company exists, this asset needs to be provided as long that you paid for it, right? Now, the law gets a little bit tricky in terms of nerfing and, oh, we, you know what? You can't write up your own laws, Chris. You can't say, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm just working on, no, people bought something. Right, I bought a, uh, I bought this digital asset that does these things. Okay, no, no, but we are just rebalancing. No, if you stop giving me that asset that I bought, you're stealing from me. That is illegal everywhere. We're talking about scams. We're talking about breaking the law. We're talking about selling things that you then don't provide anymore. And the bullshit about this is an alpha. You cannot justify stealing or scamming by, oh, it's just an alpha, it's just, been, the, handcuffs don't care about that. It, bars in windows in prison don't, you cannot justify stealing from people by just saying, no, it's, it's just some balancing shit, no. This is a very thin line, and you see the desperation here. Look, and this is the people that have had the most patience with all of this nonsense. Just mule is 45 bucks and can't load cargo. Atlas is a steal at 35, 40 bucks. Well, it's a steal, all right. But yeah, let me allow, let, let's dis agree to disagree. Atlas and mule should have been in game only things and not be able to buy in real money. Why expect to size? Turn the opportunity into. How CIG turned an opportunity into one time 550k dud, an unpopular perspective on the ad. No, it, we all agree. There, it's just a desperate cash grab. The ad was a cash grab. You're making cargo gameplay more tedious and selling the solution. And that is basically it. First off, Atlas costs almost as uh, it is insane. All right. Um, why is Chris Roberts desperate for money? Is he about to go bankrupt? Is not not him. He's gonna be fine. He has all the buildings and all the mansions and all the money and the different accounts. He's okay. Is CIG obviously not so much. CIG is obviously not doing well financially because if not, you wouldn't do something this cheap, this desperate, this this scammy, this slimy thing of nerfing things and selling the thing that allows you to move fucking boxes in a video game. It's embarrassing, man. But that's what CIG has become. That's what Chris Roberts has turned into. Now, I'm, I'm having a great day. I had a, a, a beautiful weekend so far. It's looking, as, as usual, great. Yeah. And, and playing No Man's Sky, actually, in, in terms of, oh, wow, there's actually great video games out there. There's people that believe in themselves and in others. And you have a lot of fun, you, you can't stop. Oh, my wife is calling me, let's do this. Yeah, but just one more fish. I'm almost at a hundred fish, right? Another, uh, another uh, milestone, getting a hundred fish. Oh, but what is it for? What is it that I achieve? I end up unlocking something cool, some, some, some little surprise that I actually get to keep permanently. Not only do I get a little milestone uh, gift, it also works towards the completion of the phase that he has even a bigger uh, surprise gift, whatever. And then by completing the entire expedition, yeah, it is awesome. It, it the awesomeness never ends. The virtuous circle of you're not missing a second when you're playing. You're having fun and you're locking and you're you're feeding that loot gobbling of yours. But it is, and this is the complete opposite. This is nope. I'm making you not play until you pay me again. And when you buy a ship, it's going to be the best ship, and then I'll nerf it, I'll kill it, 
and you will have a, to buy a new ship again. And in this case, I'm so desperate for money, you cannot even CCU to it. You cannot even use like a third. It's not even like a ten, fifteen dollar uh, uh, cash grab. No, no, no. It's uh, you have to pay forty five bucks right now. If not, you won't be able to play anymore. Fuck you. <laughs> So fucking sad to see a grown man that used to be held in high regard with so much money and so much fame sinking to this point where you go, damn it, damn. Uh, how is this going to be in, in a couple years? I will be pleasantly surprised if the game survives another year. That's all I'm saying. Be very careful on how much more money you put into this thing. I would suggest not putting a damn cent in it anymore. Hey, you want to start playing? Uh, use my referral. Guys love it when I say that and when they read it. That, yeah, go, go buy your Aurora. I mean, if you're a fucking multimillionaire, go spend $30,000 on this. Uh, even if it may end up closing shop in a couple months, apparently. But man... Other than that, be very careful because I don't see this lasting very long. See you next time.